Hello and welcome to Home Cook in Spain. Today's lunch will be a quick tuna pasta. So let's begin. Okay, so the reason why today's recipe is very quick is because I'm using my own my own um, tomato sauce, homemade tomato sauce that I make. This is about 300 grams. I made it this morning and a few other more. And it's got all nice herbs and stuff to it. So that saves time on frying. It saves about 15-20 minutes. So I'll start off by turning this one on. On full whack. I want to, I want to bring the water to a boil. So that I can add the pasta. And this one I'll just turn it back up to about number five on medium and I'm going to add my two ch tins of tuna probably a bit more because I buy them in one kilo tins and I'm going to sprinkle a fish stock cube fish and seafood stock cube just sprinkle it all in there and I'm going to add the jar of fried tomato. It's already got olive oil in it as well. I'll leave a link to how I make this in the description and possibly at the end of the video. I'll just put a bit of water there and I'll close it up and give it a shake. And we'll pour that in there. And basically what I want is to bring it to a boil. So I'll just leave it there on number five. That's enough. And once this water starts boiling, I'll just add the pasta. So let's cover this up. Right, so when the water starts to boil, I'll add my pasta in. You can use any pasta you like. I'm using penne today. And I'll add some salt to my own liking. And we'll just cook this to my own liking too. Which should be about 10 to 12 minutes. So it'll be between al dente and soft. Right, so the pasta's done. So I'll just turn off the stove, the extractor fan on that, and the sauce. Oh, that smells so good. You can't beat your own homemade sauce, can you? So what I'll do next is, um, I'm going to take the water out of this pasta. So there you go. Just trying to keep it off the heat, you know. Don't want it to burn. And I can either serve it like this on a plate and add the sauce on top, or mix everything in. In my case, I'm going to mix wait, everything in the pot because there's probably there'll probably be leftovers as usual that's why I always add a bit more pasta than needed but that way I can have it for evening meal or lunch another day with a couple of eggs right so we'll mix this all in nicely and then we'll serve it up on a plate to show you. And there we have it. A nice belly filling tuna pasta cooked in about 15 minutes, more or less. Well, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.